so to make it work for the data frame what should i do i should remove the which row row 1 right okay so i have got an idea of minus 1 let's see if it works perfect perfect okay in the very similar manner i can so i'll now assign this as d1 okay and i'll similarly create d2 which is again demo 2 and draw the duration and then i can again use minus 1 right so d1 and d2 are created now i will create d which is a data frame data dot frame of of c of d1 comma d2 <coughs> so d1 and d2 are removed so d1 and d2 are now a data frame is it is it a data frame right now or should i create should i remove this which one is a data frame the one which i want now this one the earlier one yes perfect perfect so now i have to use the same apply thing just that i'll write here b and i get my answers okay so for day and duration my answers are this got it so these were the steps required till now till now now you will read something which will tell you how to do all these five six steps in one step and that feature is called deep plier deep plier means you see apply so apply it is p l y the last p l y okay and d means data okay so d means data and p l y and r is for i r now anyone who knows who has uh, read uh, python before because if you use demo and then day you'll get what why we use minus 1 okay i'll tell you i'll tell you. had we not used minus 1 what would have happened so now if i call d1 what will you see one row is gone but was that rat that row no it was some other row okay so what have we done here we actually removed the first uh, first row but have we removed the the uh, header it was already removed okay it was already removed so this question was actually perfect that why to use minus 1 now to use minus 1 means you have to remove the head, uh, the first row you are not actually removing header out of now since someone has already said it so i also agreed that yes minus 1 will also do the main concept was to make a dollar thing okay the main concept was to access that particular 
variable okay whether or not you do a minus 1 or a minus 2 or a minus 3 header is never a part of your rows okay so once you access it you are actually removing the header okay but when plier is acting upon it it is considering the header also okay now is there any way i can use is there any way i can use uh, apply function without yeah one line code can be this also perfect one line code can be this also but is there any way if i don't apply uh, if i get apply it on entire data frame and i don't get a missing value we'll see okay is there any way any other way that we get a one liner code so that we'll see right now this this thing of data frame demo 2 dollar uh, dollar uh, day and demo 2 dollar duration all this has is is a very good code but you can also do it is in other way okay so what i'll do i'll now introduce the new concept which is dplyr okay so i'm basically transitioning from one way of data manipulation to another way of data manipulation do you need a break now okay sure we can take a quick break okay just before just before the break i would request all of you to quickly download and install the dplyr package okay so how do you do that install dot packages and then again dplyr so since i already have dplyr so i'll quickly run the dplyr package okay dplyr all of you quickly download it and install it right and then we we'll, we can all of you confirm me that yes you have done it without any error and then you can go for it i'll in fact i'll open up the uh, uh, feedback intermediate feedback polling and then we all of you can do yes why not chachal you can you can <laughs> 